Hi, Jeff Foster with Web Biz Ideas. This video is to explain how can I get reviews that are written about my company to appear in Google Places. For example, how does this company right here get 10 reviews written about their company to appear in their Google Places results? Now, obviously, it's very important. It's uh, common knowledge that reviews about a company uh, increase a brand and reputation online. More people click on the results. More people are willing to call or contact that company because of them, as well as it increases your, your listings the more reviews that you have uh, about your company in Google. So again, the question is, how do I get them uh, to appear on Google Places, though? Well, the most important thing to know is that Google crawls trusted online review websites. For example, you can see right here, Google's saying there's 10 reviews, nine of them have come from Judy's book, and one has come from Yelp. Right, Dex No, City Search, Yahoo, and as you go down, you can see Judy's book again, Yahoo, Yelp, local.com, City Search, Yelp. Right, so what Google is doing, they're actually crawling a trusted site like McCarran Lakes Chiropractic, Judy's book uh, profile, and they're saying, well, there's nine reviews written here. Well, I'm going to copy them, I'm going to put them on Google places results right there they are the nine there are the the two reviews there and there's some more down below there and so Google's gonna say I'm gonna crawl only trusted sites I'm gonna put them on their places results I'm gonna tally them up and then I'm gonna have them appear on the front page and that's what Google does so the most important thing is that you need reviews on other websites because that's really where Google is crawling uh, and it's very easy to, to, to do it that way so how, how do you get them done you have a bunch of customers, you want reviews about them, or you, you have new customers coming in, how to get them to do it, what's the best way? Well, the way our company has found it is, is very simple. Uh, instead of signing up for all of them, I recommend signing up for three and then using one. For example, I suggest signing up for Judy's Book, uh, for City Search, and Yelp. But I recommend using Judy's Book when you're asking customers to write the review because people on their own will write them on Yelp and they can write them on City Search, but Judy's book is the most, um, I would say, customer friendly as well as 100% of the time you'll get the review that is written about your company listed. Uh, but on Yelp, for example, it's, there's an there's a algorithm that says, well, only the popular people or only the trusted reviewers, I'm gonna have those reviews show up. So sometimes you write a review and it disappears. Judy's book is not that, that way. So you know that when a customer writes the review, it's gonna get listed, right? They just go to your listing and they click write a review. They review the title, put the stars, and, and put in their review. It's a very simple process. Um, so how do you do that again? Well, the way our company does it and what we encourage for our customers, is just a simple email template. I usually call ahead of time and say exactly the same thing that this email says and let them know that I'm gonna be sending this email. Right, it says, this is Jeff Oster with Web Biz Ideas. Over the last 12 months, we enjoyed working with your company and appreciate your business. I was hoping you could take two minutes and follow the link below to write a review about how you have enjoyed working with our company. The link goes to our city's, our Judy's book uh, profile page. They click write a review uh, and that's it. Sometimes, to keep it even simple, I say, please click write a review. To review our company. Very simple, 90% of the time it works if you have good customers. Uh, and so that's the process, um, very simple. Again, just to summarize, sign up for Judy's book, sign up for City Search, and sign up for Yelp. Contact, email, or call your customers, uh, and send them just one link. Now what, what, what's the best practice? Well, just send them one link this month, and maybe a few months down the road say, hey, we appreciate you writing a review on Judy's book. Can you go to City Search and can you write a review as well? Again, works most of the time. And perhaps maybe following the next year, uh, maybe ask them about Yelp. But again, Yelp's a little touchy with that, so it works better when people reviewed on their own. So that's the process, and there's other uh, recommendations. For example, uh, as a chiropractor, right, they have patients coming in all the time. Maybe you have a hair salon or uh, a business that people are always coming in for appointments. Well, one, an easy way is to go to uPrinting, uh, they have 250 flyers for 26 bucks and hand them out to patients. 
we appreciate your business. Can you, can you, this, this card explains how you can write a review uh, about our company. Very simple, create a design that, you know, has the link or tell them to go to Judy's book and search for your company. Uh, and that works very well, good as well. Another thing, if you have a, a company like a chiropractor or a hair salon, uh, have an iPad ready. We appreciate your business. Do you think you can take two minutes to write a review? Here you go and hand it and put them in their hands. That works as well. So these are just some recommendations um, to get your uh, listing on uh, or your reviews on your Google Places results when someone is doing a search. Now, if you have more questions, feel free to Google Web Biz Ideas SEO or Web Biz Ideas Local SEO, and you'll find this blog post uh, has a video on other common practices that you can do to increase your search engine rankings for your Google Places, as well as a, a special report we typed up with really step-by-step -step instructions on how to optimize your Google Local um, uh, Business Center listing. Obviously, this re report was uh, created before uh, the Local Business Center was, was changed to Google Places, but uh, the information is still good. So if you have any more questions, feel free to contact us. We'll be happy to answer them.